Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today we have a question from the Stickman One, and they are asking for the ability to have a character pick up and throw objects exactly like Mario 2. Uh, so without further ado, we'll hop into our project, and we will start out with some ground. So we're just going to throw a sprite on there, and we're going to make it real wide and real short. And we'll paint it green because they water their grass here. And we'll bring this down to the bottom. And we don't want a variable. We want a behavior of solid so people can walk on it. And I'm going to use some pre-made images just so it looks a little cleaner. We have our object, our box. And then I will pull in a character. Um, we'll name him Hero. And I'm not going to worry about animating them, but it will be a lot easier to see just with characters instead of my normal solid sprites. Uh, we're going to give him platformer. And we're going to give him solid. And we're just going to make sure everything works as it should. Cool, cool. And see we're gonna want some variables so the box is gonna have two variables is lifted and there'll be booleans starting out as false and is thrown and again starting out as false and then we'll also give the behavior of pin and move to and pin will be to add it to the hero um, after it's lifted so you can move around with it and then uh, move to will be to set it to our hero's head so it looks lifted as well as throwing it um, and then we're gonna add an invisible lift area so sprite and for now, we're just going to leave it huge. I need to know his size. So 32 by 32. We want to make sure we are less than 32 here so we don't accidentally lift it from the sides. And we want it to be just, just big enough to read outside of, uh, outside of our hero area. So this will be our pickup. We're going to call it... Oops, lift area and essentially this has to be overlapping the box in order for us to lift it um, this will need pin because we're going to pin it to our hero and let's see we want it to be inside I'm going to throw a container on there just so I can see him better we're not actually going to do anything with the container here but um, this way I can see both of them. And we can see that the yellow is fully inside the blue. So when I walk up to the box with it like that, I'm going to bounce off the box because it's a solid object. So the yellow will never touch it. And when I check for overlapping, I won't be able to pick it up from the side. But it will be be beneath me. So when I jump on top of it and then try to pick it up, it will be overlapping. So that's the plan. And that will make sure we pick it up by standing on top of it. And then I'm going to hop in here and change the origin. And we really just want it to be higher up. That way I can set the position to match the same position as the hero. And we still get that underneath area. So on start a layout, did I give a pin yet? I do have pin. All right, on start of layout. We are going to set position lift area to hero X, hero Y. And that sets it on top. And then we're going to pin it there to hold it there while we move around. So pin to object hero. That's taken care of. And now we're going to check if lift area is overlapping 
another object which will be our box and I would suggest if you have uh, the subscription with construct uh, put this box inside of a family object and then just do all of this with family instead that way you can have a bunch of liftable items not just the box um, but since I'm not sure uh, this will be for everybody and we'll we would just have to make essentially this check for each type or put a different way to check in there since we can't use families um, so if lift area is overlapping we also want to have a reason to lift it up we don't just want it to lift everything so we're going to do on key press and we're going to throw a spacebar on there so if both those are happening we will set box to uh, move to move to position and the x axis we want to keep the same so we'll throw it as box.x the y we want to set to the top of the hero so hero dot v box top want the box to no longer be solid especially since we're trying to move them past each other so set enabled and disable it and we're going to do that one first and then move it and we're just going to see how this works so I can run up to it jump on it and lift it and now we have to attach it to us after it's lifted Plus 15. There we go. Now it'll be closer to our head. Um, and, oops, didn't mean to pull that. Oh, yeah. Start him out closer to the ground for no reason other than... All right, moving on. Uh, now we lift it. We're going to want to pin it there. So box on arrived. When the box arrives, wherever it's traveling, and it's also lifted. So box compare bool is lifted. And when we actually lift it, we are now going to set this to is lifted. to true and that will make this happen and we're gonna set it to pin to our hero pin to object hero alright now it'll stay with our hero as we run around and we're also going to want the box to be on our left side when we're walking left on our right side when we're rocking walking right um, that way we can throw it to the left and right because we'll do it based off of what side it is on our hero. So, box is lifted. Is lifted and we hit the arrow key left. It's going to make our hero walk to the left so we also want to move the B box to the left. Sorry, not the B box, the box object to the left. And we're just going to set position here. We don't want it to slowly move. We just want it to appear kind of like our guy just instantly turned around. Um, so our Y will stay the same. So box.y. And this is going to be hero.bbox left. And we're going to do the same thing for right. So I'm just going to copy paste that. Oops. And to the right, and to the right. So we got a few more things, so we're going to try them all out, make sure there's no issues. Hop up on here, pick it up, it's above me, and it doesn't move, and that's because it's pinned. So, B box pin, we're just going to unpin this, Oops. and we'll copy that, and obviously we want that above. We want it unpinned before we try to move it. And then we're going to want to repin it. So we'll throw that down there and just change that to pin to object. 
Um, what was it initially pinned to? The hero? Okay. We want to keep the pin the same everywhere. So now we should be able to hop on here, lift it up. It's to our left. It's to our right. Obviously, we would change the direction of the person as well. It'd look a little cleaner, but <coughs> that should be enough to get the point across. And now we have to throw it. So, um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's copy this and bring it down, and we'll delete the code inside. On space, lift area is overlapping. We don't want that. We want that to be um box is lifted so we'll delete that and box compare value bool is lifted so if I hit spacebar while it's lifted then we're gonna throw it so underneath we'll do a check and blink sub event box is compare position Compare x. If the x is less than that of the hero's x, then we'll throw it to the left. And if it's greater than or equal to, just in case it's equal somehow, uh, we cover our bases, we'll throw it to the right. Um, <coughs> so it'll still be the same idea. I'm going to. Um, actually. We just want the unpin from here. We'll unpin the box and box move to and set a position. Move to position. Move to X. Let's just say negative 700. We're throwing it to the left. And we're going to keep the box uh, Y position the same. So box dot Y. And I'm going to bring that down here and just change this to positive 1400. That way they just head towards the end of the screen and I don't have to worry about them and you can obviously program that to stop at a certain distance you could do something along the lines of uh, position box.x to get the starting position plus 300 that way it only travels 300 spaces um, but this just gets it moving um, and then I also want to change is thrown here actually let me show you why so we'll hop in here. We can. Nope. Well, it is doing both these pretty much simultaneously. So in here, since it sets is lifted to true, and then we head down here, it also tries to throw it. So we can do a wait of a small amount of time. That way you can't pick up and throw instantly and now I hold it and to show you how little that weight is I'll mash spacebar here and we'll pick it up and throw it pretty much as instant as possible um, and then let's see if this breaks so throw it and then I run and I re-grab it because I don't have a check to make sure the box is thrown so that's why I had the other boolean in there um, so if it's lifted, I'm going to, or if I throw it, I'm going to set is thrown, box is thrown, and we're just going to set that to true. Oops, meant to copy that. Set that to true for both cases. And now, in here, if the box is lifted and not thrown, oop, want it on this side. Hmm. Okay, we'll do it this way. Lifted and not thrown. And invert that. And box is not thrown. And that will just give an extra check. So once it's thrown, it's gone. I can't re-grab it. Bye forever box. Um, And hopefully that gives you enough to get your project started. Uh, let me know if there's any questions. Have a good one.